I'll probably watch just so I don't get inundated with all the Britney Griner hype that Ugh. ESPN and oh everybody is doing. I mean, they, I mean, they are uh, trying to stuff this woman down all of our throats every day. The Britney Griner farted and it smelled like uh, collard greens. Britney, I mean, some kind of headline about Britney Griner every day. Uh, Br- Britney Griner emotional after home game return. It, it's no one cares. They care so little. This overhyped first game uh, of her return from Russian prison or whatever, half of uh, Crypto Arena was empty, and her coach complained about it. Let's watch Vanessa mm-hmm. Nyingard or who I don't yeah. know what team she. Careful how you say that. Phoenix. Careful yeah. how you say that name. Let, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's watch the clip. I mean, it was it was great, but like honestly, come on, LA. Like we didn't sell out the arena for BG. Like I expected more. You know, to be honest, right? Like it was great, it was loud, but um, how was how was it not a sellout? How was it not a sellout? Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, can you explain you live in L.A.? How was it not a sellout? First of all, if they only sold out half the arena, that's twice as many people as I anticipated. So let's have a little gratitude. And by the way, L.A. has entertainment options. But Miss Nygaard, I want to be careful there with that pronunciation, um, I have four reasons why that didn't sell out. I'm going to list them very slowly. It's W, N, B, <laughs> A. That's why. <laughs> right there. That's it, Jason. It's pretty simple. It is simple, but I, I can the way they're trying to stuff this down our throats, like people are interested. ESPN has this alternate universe that people are on the edge of the oh, what's going on with Brittany Griner? What's going on with Brittany Griner? Th- this they could be promoting more talented players more marketable players. Nobody wants to see this six foot eight, tatted up, whatever, woman, what, whatever. Oh, Nobody I wants disagree. to see that. William Roden does. William Roden does. <laughs> he probably wants to be embedded onto that team, cover it game to game, right? You know, <laughs> Here's the thing, Jason, that I don't understand about all these people virtue signaling about how we should all be supporting it and why aren't we at the game. I want to check all their social media. Well, I really don't. So get, get one of your interns to do it. But check all these people's social media that is wagging the finger like I am right now and see how many pictures they have at WNBA games. No, I'm being dead serious. So all these people lecturing us on how we need to support this league, that we should be there. Let's check their Instagram and their Twitter. Back, you know, let's go old school. Let's check their MySpace and see how many pictures they take from Mercury and Sparks games. Give me a break. Well, Kamala Harris was there. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Darvin yeah. Ham was at one of the games. It's, uh, I, I just it works, move no. on or find someone. Yeah. Please, Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, anybody get to the WNBA as soon as possible oh, oh, so they can Angel quit Reese. marketing. Wow. I would Jason. take that over Brittany Griner. At least she's not covered in tattoos. <laughs> Yet. I mean, Yet. my God. Yet. Yet. Yeah, I, I, I hope she doesn't. I hope someone is smart enough to. But Brittany Griner is unwatchable, plays an unexciting style of basketball. Surely to God, they got better players to push and tell us to watch than some six foot eight person covered in tattoos. I can get that in the NBA from real Woo! athletes. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. What do I need to see it in the WNBA for? Anyway. 